Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can prepare a meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from. It's a great way to break out of recipe ruts. It's also a great way to relieve any stress involved in meal planning. You can prepare a meal in about 30 minutes, and if you use their quick and easy tips, you can make a meal in even less time, in about 20 minutes. The packaging is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. HelloFresh is also super flexible. You can easily change your delivery dates, your meal plans, or even skip a week. And this week, my family really enjoyed the Salsa Verde enchiladas with poblano peppers. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or go to hellofresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today I'm gonna to be making a recipe that might be at the very top of the list of most requested recipe, and it is for making chicken out of flour. Now, of course, we're not gonna be making actual chicken. This is going to be a chicken or a meat analog. We are gonna be making fake meat. This is actually what my mom calls this. It is a meat substitute often eaten by Buddhist monks that are strict vegetarians because you get this great meat-like texture but it is made from flour. Technically, it's made from the gluten or the protein found in flour. Absolutely fascinating process to witness. It is made by washing the starch out of the flour. The starches are soluble in water, so they will wash out with water, but the protein or the gluten is insoluble and quite sticky, and as you knead it, it forms this protein mass. Of course, then you have to season it, and then you can braise it, you can pan fry it, you can boil it. Now, this is not something new. This dates way, way back, according to Harold McGee, in on food and cooking. This dates back to the 6th century in China, but it is found all over Asia. In Japan, it's known as seitan. In Korea, it's known as mulgolki. And in China, it's known as mianjin. This, of course, was inspired by a TikTok video created by Future Lettuce. I'll put a link down below in case you are curious. And big thanks to all of my lovelies who submitted this to me. Now, let's go ahead and make this. So this recipe did not include any amounts, but I don't think it's that important. We just want to extract the gluten from the flour. I'm just going to measure just for kicks. So three cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add water until this forms a dough. Stir that in there. I'm going to just form this into a dough. Here is our ball of dough. Now we're gonna place it in our bowl, cover it with foil. And we're gonna let this rest for one hour before we start washing it. Alrighty, my lovelies, it has been one hour since I rested my dough and now we are going to knead it. Remove the foil. This is what the dough looks like, pretty ordinary looking dough. Add some water and now we're just gonna knead this. So what we're doing is removing the soluble starch and leaving the gluten behind. Future lettuce doesn't say how long we do this for, but already you can see the strands of gluten. Isn't that amazing? Now I'm going to dispose of this water and we keep doing this until the water gets clear, but not exactly transparent. So. So it's so interesting, this process of making gluten was apparently discovered by the Chinese accidentally in the noodle making process. Well, I'm going to strain this water out and continue kneading. And the Chinese word for wheat gluten is mianjing, and it literally translates to tendon of flour or muscle of flour, and when you see it, it makes a whole lot of sense. Alrighty, my lovely. So I've washed my dough about six or seven times and I've got about a cup of this kind of stringy, almost mozzarella-like textured dough. It's very much like cheese curds and it has this great stretch to it. And now we're going to season it. So as a kid, I always ate the prepared version. It came in a can and it was seasoned with a sweetened soy sauce. But I'm gonna be following Future Lettuce's recipe and doing more of a fried chicken flavored recipe. I'm at a half teaspoon of kosher salt, 
quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of paprika, a couple shakes of cayenne because I like heat, half teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder. My onion powder is a little bit solidified. <laughs> now we're just gonna fold the seasoning in and just work it in. So there we have it. So now we're gonna let our seasoned wheat gluten rest for another hour. It's been one hour, let's check on the gluten. <laughs> it looks a little bit like oatmeal. So mine looks a little bit more separated and shreddy than future lettuces version. I'm gonna knead it a little bit to develop the gluten a little bit more. Rolling it and kind of pressing it. Now we're gonna twist this into a rope and just knot it like you would a piece of rope. <laughs> this texture actually reminds me a lot of mozzarella. Have you ever seen my mozzarella cheese making video? So much fun making cheese. And tuck it in. Now I'm gonna give it a little press. There is our wheat gluten. I'm gonna add some oil. Now we're gonna take our wheat gluten and fry it up. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's give this a flip. Not bad, not bad. Look. I mean, could be sweetbreads, could be, you know, gluten. <laughs> oh, I love these recipes. Now we're gonna add about a half a cup to two thirds of a cup of vegetable stock. Cover this, turn it down to low, and cook it for 45 minutes. Alrighty, once this is all beautifully cooked, I will be back and we will taste it. Alrighty, my lovelies, I am back. The wheat gluten has finished cooking. Our faux chicken is now ready to taste. So when I added the half cup of vegetable stock, as this was cooking, much of the water evaporated. So you wanna check this periodically, add a little bit more water as it goes along. I didn't add any more stock, just additional water to make sure that it didn't burn or stick to the pan. Also, you wanna frequently flip this too to make sure both sides get cooked. So in total, I probably used about a cup and a half of liquid. So that first additional half cup of veggie stock and then an additional cup of water as this was cooking. So let me show you what this looks like. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? It looks very, very meat-like. Look. So besides the tasting part, here's the part that I'm most excited about, and it's the shredding. I want to see how sinuous, how tendony and muscle fibery this wheat gluten is. All right, ready for this? It shreds a lot like meat. Look at that. Look how chickeny that looks. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. It's amazing. Look how chicken-like that looks. Alrighty, here we go. Itadakimasu. <laughs> it doesn't taste like chicken. Nope. <laughs> but it has an incredibly chicken-like texture. Mm-hmm amazing. It has a very, very meaty like texture that's bouncy, moist, juicy, sinuous. It tastes like veggie broth. Mm -hmm. I can definitely taste the garlic and the onion and the cayenne in there. I think it could use a smidge more salt. I wasn't sure how salty the veggie broth would be, so I erred on the side of using less salt. I used a half a teaspoon. I think I would bump that up to three quarters of a teaspoon. And then I think I would add some nutritional yeast or maybe a little bit of a soy sauce to give it a little bit more umami complexity. But as it is, it's not half bad. But I think what's really wonderful about seitan or wheat gluten is the fact that it has this incredibly meat-like texture. The sinuous kind of shredded-like texture is very, very meat-like. And if you're looking for a meat analog, this might be it. I mean, it's incredible. And what's great about this is that essentially you've got a blank canvas here. You can make this into chicken salad, you can make it in chicken pot pie. Any application that you would use chicken in, you could use this wheat gluten. So there you have it, my lovelies. That's how you can make fake meat with flour, water, and some seasonings. A very old, ancient recipe, but 
amazing, amazing, amazing results. Thanks so much for watching and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh out for yourself, click the link down below or head to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE12 to receive 12 free meals, including free shipping. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe. Oh, check out my new website. I have printable recipes. Yes, finally, and a recipe converter. If you use the metric system, there's a handy dandy button that you can click, convert. Or if it's a metric recipe, you can hit that handy dandy button and it will convert it to US volumetric. <sighs> finally. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye! Meat on a stick, but it's fake!